Hey gems, it's your girl Naya and I'm back, back again with another video. Okay guys, in today's video is how I'm going to make this wig look from trashy to something brand new. This hair I got from a, I didn't get it from a company actually, I got this from a vendor because I was trying out different hair from different vendors. And this hair, um, I didn't really work with this vendor because the hair started to shine a lot after a couple of months which i'm glad i waited a couple months so now i'm just parting the hair i'm trying to find a part of the hair that doesn't look so bald like at the top right there um i told you guys it started to bald a little bit and the middle because it had caught a knot and yeah so i'm trying to find a part of the hair that doesn't look so bald and i'm gonna go in and keep parting the hair and keep parting the hair until i find a section of the hair which i think is not is not like bald you know like balding i'm gonna find a part that i don't think is balding or it could be balding a little bit just make sure it doesn't look like you know the hair went bald just look like maybe i over plucked a little bit I was kind of feeling that part right there, but then I saw how much it looked like it was bolting on the side. So then I kept parting and parting the hair until I found a part that I liked. I did this for about like eight minutes because, well, I just part like I'm a perfectionist and sometimes I'm just like, there gotta be a part of the hair that doesn't look, you know, but I eventually I gave up and I settled with a part that just looked like I overplucked, but I did not overplucked that much. Okay, now that I have found a part of the hair that I like, I am going to go in with getting my bleach to do the highlights that I want to do on my hair. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get the bowl, I make sure I have a comb, I make sure I have um, the BW2 bleach, um, and I use 40 volume developer because I bought that a long time ago. I bought this big bottle, so that's the only thing I use to, you know, bleach the hair. And I'll make sure I have the brush to put the bleach on. And I also have this other brush, where it's like a comb and a brush. And I'm going to be using that too. And then I'm going to pour the bleach into the bowl. And then I'm going to pour the 40 volume developer in. And I'm going to stir it up until it's at the consistency that I like. And then I'm going to start to apply it to the hair. Oh yeah guys, and I forgot to say to make sure that you wear gloves while you do this because if you don't, then the bleach can get on your hands and it actually does burn. Um, I remember I had the developer spill on my hand one time by accident and my hand was literally burning for two days. Okay guys, and now what I am going to do is I'm going to put aluminum foil down as my base. Um, you can use a trash bag for this, but I used aluminum foil because, well, that's the thing I'm going to be using on the hair also. So I was just like, 
this is the only thing available to me so let me just put that down as my base so i put the aluminum foil down under the bleach under the wig head and everything to um prevent making a mess on my um dresser so i put it down and then i actually started the hair i am parted it a little bit more to make sure the part was like the way I liked it before I started doing this because the part wasn't the way I liked it and that means that then that means that um I will have to bleach other parts of the hair to get it to be the way that I want it to be and I didn't want to do that I didn't want to make any mistakes so I made sure I part the hair over and over and then I began to apply the bleach Now, the way I applied the bleach was I cut off two sections in the front of the hair, you know, by the middle of the part. The front of the hair, I made sure I parted two sections and then I began to put bleach onto the two sections of the hair that I parted because I saw this look on um, social media and I honestly fell in love with it and I was like, I need it, I need this look. I really love it so I decided to do the look but then I also put my own twist to it and by by the end of this video you guys will see how it came out looking but just know it's cute it's fire and I really really liked it Alright y'all, so what y'all wanna do after y'all finish bleaching a section of the hair, y'all wanna go in and y'all wanna put down aluminum foil. You wanna put down the aluminum foil because aluminum foil, I think it helps speed up the process or it helps like the hair bleach a little bit more. Um Yeah. I noticed that by like the front of the hair when I put the aluminum foil on. Um but I went to go check it by like the end of you know the style. It wasn't as hot as the other aluminum foil. So that just let me know that I think the hair was done bleaching and that's how far the bleach was gonna go in the hair. So I just took it out and I washed it. And I don't know y'all, like, I really like this look. 
Like, really, really. That's why I keep saying it, because, like, I like it a lot. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, when y'all bleaching it, y'all gotta make sure the bleach gets on every strand of hair. That means you gotta part the hair in sections and look in between and see if there's any more strands without bleach. That's what I had to do. And you wanna make sure you get all the way down to the bottom. You just wanna make sure that you do not leave any pieces behind. to see me put some um or let me refer you under this strand of hair because i do not want to get bleach on any other strand strands of the hair i only want this section of hair to be bleached so i put a little bit for you on that section of the hair and i'm going to start bleaching it guys um this is the last time i'm gonna explain you know how i'm bleaching it and stuff like that because the rest of it i feel like it's self-explanatory because i already explained it once but anyway, let me say it again. I put the bleach on all parts of the hair on this one um, because I wanted this certain look, like a highlights look. But then, I don't know. I just wanted this certain look in my head. And I got it at the end, so I was really happy. But you're going to make sure you bleach this whole strand of hair. Um, and then the other strands of hair, you're only going to bleach the bottom. And then when you're done bleaching this strand of hair... You're going to put the aluminum foil under the bleach part of the hair. You're not going to put it, you're not going to um, wrap it around it like I did the front. No, you're going to put it under and just leave it there and sit it there.
as y'all can see, after a while, I started to run low on bleach. But y'all gonna be so surprised because the bleach that I put in the cup at the beginning of the, I mean, the bowl at the beginning of the video is the only amount of bleach that I used to accomplish this style. While I started to run lower bleach, I just decided to add more developer into the hair. After I added more developer, I was good. Okay guys, so while I was off camera, I went and I finished like the parts that I wanted to turn blonde. I basically used all the bleach I had in this, this bowl right here that I'm showing y'all. But this is burning hot. These two aren't hot. I don't know why these two aren't hot. But they're they're blonde, as you guys can see. They're blonde. This one is burning hot. And this one in the back. It's like kinda hot too. But yeah, I'm about to go and wash all of this out. And I'll be back and show y'all the finished product. I'm gonna go and I lost my purple shampoo. I don't know who took it. But I had the conditioner. And I'm going to just use some other shampoo. Some other shampoo. And I'll be back to um show you guys the finishing product. Hey guys, I'm back. This is like really messy right now. I got to like comb it through and brush it. Y'all see that? I slayed that part. Like I was that's the look I was going for in that part. I need to get um an elastic band. So I could just throw this wig on. I ain't gotta glue it down. Y'all see this? Just sliding off my whoa. Cause it decided to come off my head like that. Like, who told you to do that? All right, so this part is to the side. I did a, yeah, it's over here. Instead of in the middle, because in the middle is, um, thing. But I'm still putting it, like, in the middle right there. Um, when I cut it into the bob, I'm going to actually cut it where the middle part is because I don't want to cut it where the side part is. I don't want to, you know, mess it up. As y'all watch this clip, y'all going to see how I cut my bobs. I literally take section by section and I cut it. And I measure it with the other sections to make sure that it's the perfect size. I am not a professional, y'all. I just be winging it here. And my cut came out okay. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, that cut is fire. But, you know, it was like, right. it was like, okay. It was like, oh, that's cute. You know, you can't see the uneven cuts that much. You see it, but then you don't see it. I see it because I'm a perfectionist. But, you know, it didn't look bad. So, I was, I was feeling it. I was feeling it.
I'm gonna glue it down. I'll be back after I finish gluing it down, y'all. Since I apparently gotta do that. Alright, guys, this is the hair on me. It's the hair on me. This is the hair on me. Yo, this is cute. Period. Y'all even know how I'm going. No, let me stop. But, um, this is actually really cute on me. She wanted I could tell she wanted. Y'all see that? Like, do y'all see that blonde that I did? How I slid that? Do y'all see that cut? Now, when it gets towards the back, the cuts start to... I fired it a little bit. So that it can look, you know, fire and wavy. I, um, glued the wig down. I'm gonna lift this up. So y'all can like see me, see me, like better. Alright, so yeah. So this is the hair. Stiff well. Stiff well. Period. Alright. I think I'm leaving this on for the night. I'm going to jump in the shower. Yo, like, I'm going to get a hair stop. It's like, y'all need to book your appointment. Y'all need to book me. Yo. If y'all want custom wigs made like this, you know. If you want this type of look. Um, hit me up actually hit me up um, on Instagram I put my Instagram and my snap in the description box all the time every video that I make I make sure that I put it because I want you guys to you know follow me on social media but if you want this type of wig matter of fact let me let me put you on this is a handmade wig I made this myself like I literally with my hands made this wig it wasn't on a sewing machine nothing um, the front two, I did that myself. Like, the balding part, that happened over a month. Because I was trying out this new vendor. And I guess the hair just wasn't fire like that. But I still fixed it up. So it doesn't look, you know, bald over here in this part of the hair. Um, But the front two, I did that. I lay my own wigs. I don't I don't go get my hair done. I can't afford that. I lay my own wigs. Um... I'm gonna put my hoops in here so y'all can see how I'm coming. Like, I, I do my own wigs. I know you're probably like, where the mirror in the back? Because usually every time I'm sitting in this chair, there's a mirror over there all the time. It ain't there no more, guys. I think I'm gonna start shooting videos over there. But, yeah, like. My hair's done for tomorrow. Good, cause I mean I still gotta wash my hair under this. I'm washing that in tomorrow night, not now. But no, but um, if y'all wanna look like this. Because I did this myself. Y'all can hit me up. I can make your wig. Um, if you want um, customization with the coloring. I will definitely do that. You got to hit me up though. I don't install wigs. Because I don't really know how to braid like that yet. I'm still learning how to braid braid. So that's why I don't install wigs. But if I knew how to braid braid. I would have been you know. Installing wigs. But we'll let's approach that when the time comes and I learn how to braid. Like, I, I know how to braid, but I don't braid, like, regularly. I braid, like, inside. My braids are, like, they be on the inside. So, I know. I probably got girl. Look, my cute. It's, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. 
Yep, four thirty one. The time was like this, cause when I had first finished like um bleaching the hair, it was twelve fifty. I went in the bathroom, washed the hair, I came out, it was like one twenty three. Then you know I had to do a lot extra. If y'all want y'all wigs colored by me, I I will color your wigs. Y'all gotta hit me up. Send me the hair. Hit me up. If you want me to make your wig, I make wigs too. But make your wigs is like I have to learn how to make it on sewing machine so I can produce wigs faster. But anyway, guys, I know y'all looking like. Period, girl, period, period, girls, period. This side is a lighter blonde. That's how I wanted it. And this side is like a darker blonde. Then the back got the little strips of the blonde in the back. It's just, it's mad cute. So I'm really happy about how this came out. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Whoa. Turn that post notification bell. Oh, my stomach is starting to hurt. I gotta go. I don't know why it's starting to hurt. I feel like I gotta puke. Ugh. Anyway, guys. It's your girl, Naya. I'm gonna go back to watch Vampire Diaries. That's what I've been doing. But I think I should, um... Yeah, I'm about to go get in the shower. Thank the Lord. I should do a morning routine with you guys. But no, I'm not gonna do no morning routine. But... You know, if y'all want a morning routine, y'all comment for that. I'm out. <laughs>